I was a very good Christian and a very good Muslim, a very good Buddha, and I wanted to join the well, I don't want to mention it. But anyway, I was a good everything. But what I found, that they were feeding me the wrong food. And I had to deny all of them. Because they feed us garbage. There isn't a religion in the world that have fed the black race in America. Or anywhere in the world, the food that is consistent with their cellular predisposition. So if you, my religion, is feeding me the wrong food, then what is the message you are sending? It's like putting gasoline in a diesel car. You would not get to South Philly. <laughs> no, you're not. It's not going to run right. But we're eating starch and blood, and we want a dialogue. Dialogue based on what? I mean, come on, now. Huh? We are the remnants of what world. Let us try to bring it back. We can't challenge each other's. The only thing we have to offer each other's now is love. But to get to that point, a sister told me the other day, because I made a statement in the church, a brave woman stood up and asked me, Dr. Sebi, uh, <coughs> what have you learned from the entity that you are affording to us now? What have you learned from it? I learned to kiss everybody's butt. And I meant that. It came out that way in the church. Well, I had to give it that way. Because that is the way it came to my brain. I kiss everybody's butt. It's easy. You see, it makes it easy. When you start kicking it, somebody's going to do something to you. <laughs> and when you start kissing it, they reward you. So this sister came to me, and she was very smart. She said, do you literally? I said, drop your panties. <laughs> well, I came out of a woman's vagina. I could kiss her rear end. That's easy, isn't it? Is it easy? 